thwarts it again. Once again, plans that were plast, plast, plans that were plast, no, plans that were placed and scheduled are thrown to the wayside. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that I was going to be going somewhere special today to meet somebody very cool and special. Not gonna happen. Because today, in that garage right there, I was feeding the dogs, moving some things around. Next thing you know, there's this snake kind of looking at me. Then he kind of slurs off somewhere in the garage. So I can't leave the garage without knowing where that snake is. So today, instead of going out and doing something fun and exciting, I'm doing something more thrilling by uh, finding a snake. And it's like a scene out of a horror movie. You pick up the box, you move it very slowly, and you wait. <laughs> you wait for it to pop out. I know it's not going to bite me. It's, it's just a little, it's one of those little black racers, a uh, little black garden snake. So it's nothing, nothing dangerous. I'm not worried about it. But it's just that not knowing. It's the unknowing is what it is. The unknowing of uh, where it is. So I'm going to take some stuff out. Um, I got a leaf blower. I'm going to hit the leaf blower and kind of hit some corners and see if I wake it out, wake it up and chase it out towards the garage door. Uh, so that's kind of the plan right now. Um, and that's what, we're, that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, that's it. That's the big plan right, right there. Uh, in addition to some more laundry and typical daily chores. Chores galores. So um, see you guys back in a little bit. Well, folks, there's good news and there's bad news and better news, but I can't go into any details now because the light is green, which means it's going to have to wait. All right, so here's the plan. Ready? I'm going to hit the gas and get up to maybe 88, 90 miles per hour. Then I'm going to jump this. You guys ready for that? Check it out. Get ready. I'm gonna get about 20 feet back. Then I'm gonna gun it. I'm gonna hit that little ramp there. And jump. Get ready. Ready? Five, four, three. Oh wait, hang on a second. Now he's turning, Never mind. That's all right. Maybe next time. All right, so from before, I said there's good news and there's bad news and there's better news. The good news is the snake is gone. I chased him out with, with the leaf blower, big blast of air. He went wiggling this way out the front door and into Sean's yard. So he's out visiting Sean um, and, his, uh, and his dog and his kids. So uh, hopefully the snake will be reunited with his family and won't come back. So, that's the plan at least. The bad news is, coming up next. All right, so the bad news is, I worked really hard in my garage to, to make sure I got into every nook and cranny of my garage. In doing so, I discovered about 15 boxes of stuff. Now this is stuff that Bridget and I have collected, gathered, since we were little bitty kids, way back when I grew up as a kid in, in Michigan, all the way through my teens and my young adult ages up until current days. Uh, and same thing with Bridget, you know, growing up in South Florida, then out to California. I mean, I'm Colorado. So we've kind of been all over the place. And all that time of growing up from little bitty babies till now, we've collected a lot of stuff. I almost said junk. Because <laughs> um, the most people, it might be junk. Because um, it's trinkets and personal items that don't really have any kind of value at all. But to us in here, it's worth a lot. So um, the, the bad news is I got to put all that back together again. The good news is, and you're going to benefit from the good news, it's coming up next. Stay tuned. All right, stuck at another red light. And this might be a big one too, look. Um, this is Lake, man, this is uh, a Loma. And there's Lake Mont. I was gonna head in the Starbucks over there, but I figured, you know what? I'm not quite ready for a Starbucks just quite yet. But, while I'm stuck here at the red light, 
we've collecting been collecting so many cool stuff, so many cool um, items over the past several years. Some of those boxes I just mentioned, um, they were boxed up 20 years ago. You know, and then when we moved into our new house, they were just kind of stuck in the garage. So a lot of those things have not even been opened for 15, 20 years. So I'm not quite sure what's gonna what we're gonna uncover. See, I told you. The light turned green, now it's red. So we're stuck here again. But that's okay, more time for you now to talk. So the plan is to go through those boxes one at a time and see what's in those. It's kind of like, you guys watch that show called um, I Love Storage Wars? I think it's on History Channel. I also love the American Pickers show. I love the idea of going into a box or a room um, something contained that has not been opened for a long time and seeing what's in there. Okay, some of our boxes have not been opened for 20 years. So that's kind of stuff that we've forgotten we've even had. So I'm offering right now, starting tomorrow, I can't do it right now because I'm out in the road right now. I'm heading that way. Um, so, but starting tomorrow morning, what do you guys think about a new feature called, hey, what's in the box? Okay, I'll pick a box at random and we'll go through it together. Like I said, not things of really any worth of value. Okay, you're not going to find a you know a handful of Rolexes in there. Um, usually trinkets and little things that we got as a, as, as children or as a teenagers or as a young adults dating, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So if that intrigues you, tomorrow a new feature called, hey, what's in the box? <laughs> I don't know. Sounded clever. So, anyway, I'm heading that way. We'll find out soon. I mentioned I wasn't going to go to Starbucks. It doesn't mean I wasn't moved for a coffee. I'm here at the Bluebird Bakery. Here on Corinne Drive, my school is back that way. And guess what? That's kind of where I'm going right now. Back to the classroom. And now it's kind of early. It's only mid-July, but hey, early birdie gets the worm, right? Or the coffee, something like that. Well, I took my uh, supplies I was bringing, dropped them off back at the classroom. Uh, I did a little, did a little uh, movement of chairs and some desks and things like that, and uh, I got to get some stuff done. Like I said earlier, I know it's really early, it's only July. But I'm the kind of person who likes to get in there a little early. I said early bird gets the worm. I'm not quite sure if that was the right saying or not, but um, I like to get in there a little early, get started early. So when it's time to officially start the process, I'm done. I work like an hour, maybe an hour and a half a day. A little bit of time. We'll have these breaks. And now I'm here at the end of Baldwin Park. Beautiful lake. Meeting some folks for dinner. I'm here at the pizza place shortly. So I had a few minutes before that starts. I could come here and check out these really cool ducks. These guys. This used to be uh, the Orlando Naval Training Center way back in the day. This was uh, a nuclear training facility for nuclear submarines. Look at those ducks. I used to work at the Fashion Square Mall. I used to be a manager, assistant manager for a store called Musicland. I used to sell CDs and cassette tapes and uh, even LPs, long play records, when I first started. And uh, Naval Training Center was here, and the uh, Naval Training guys um, would get off of their, uh, they would get off their, uh, I guess their, uh, what do you call it? They'd be on leave. So they get their cash, they come and spend it all at the mall. Remember when this was all, all uh, naval training stuff, and they knocked it all down. Now I'm working here with these guys. One more quick stop before I let you guys go. I'm going to take you out there on that uh, cool little dock way out there. Let's go check it out. 
What's kind of cool about walking on this right now is that this used to be, of course, back when it was the Naval Training Center, a forbidden part of the Katy Way Trail. Um, over there, in that area, the trail would end because that was the entrance into the Naval Training Center. And then over there, it would continue. Um, the Katy Way Trail actually starts all the way back where I, I live in Oviedo. You can take it through the Goldenrod area, uh, through Winter Park, which is where we are right now, and then keep going. It takes you to the Fashion Square Mall. So back when I was uh, back in high school, I used to love to spend my summers to get on my bicycle, and I'd ride the Katy Way Trail all the way through Winter Park. And there was a secret little little passageway that went around the Naval Training Center. So I got to see a lot of this, but from the other side of the fence, where the civilians were allowed to hang out. So um, it's kind of neat to be able to walk around here. Back right over there, right there, used to be a great big hall, like a big uh, reception hall. And I went to a wedding way back when my mom used to work with uh, a woman who got married um, to, uh, to a sailor. And right where that building is, used to be a really big, uh, it's kind of hard to see because a lot of glare coming off the screen right now. But it uh, used to be a real big um, dance hall and restaurant. So it was kind of cool back in that time. I got to come on the Naval Training Center. You know, I felt like I was, uh, I don't know, it was kind of cool to be able to come to the Naval Training Center when I wasn't allowed to because I was just a civilian. I felt like I was doing something secret, something big to talk about when I got back to school. So, somebody getting yelled at over there. So, but this is a great little spot. Check it out. Water's not very deep. All right, folks. I do believe I'll stop right here and let you guys go so I can head back that way, meet up with my crew, and I will look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in and all that kind of good jive, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is what? Thursday. Yay. Hopefully no snake returns. No snakes. Bye.